decimal mapping. We are going to learn here how to find the coefficient of magnification and angle of rotation for the conformal transformations. Right? Okay, let's uh, read some of the remarks written over here about the magnification. In conformal transformation W equal to Fz, the linear magnification at any point Z is mod of F dash Z provided F dash Z is non-zero. And superficial magnification is mod of F dash Z whole square. Then to find the area of the domain in the W plane. Let closed domain in Z plane is equal to let's say D and its corresponding closed domain in W plane be D dash. Then the area is equal to the area of the domain D dash that is equal to double integration over D dash du dv right then this is further equal to double integration over d and we change this into the variable dx dy by using the jacobian that is curly u v with respect to curly x y and this is curly u v over curly x y is calculated as curly u over curly x into curly v over curly y minus curly v over curly x into curly u over curly y. And this is equal to if we use the Cauchy Raman's equation over here, this is curly u over curly x and curly v over curly y is equal to curly u over curly x by using the Cauchy Raman equations minus curly v over curly x as it is. And curly u over curly y is negative of curly v over curly x. So this is equal to curly u over curly x whole square plus curly v over curly x whole square. Further equal to mod of curly u over curly x plus iota curly v over curly x square. And this is further equal to mod of f dash z square. So, the area of the domain in the W plane is equal to double integration over D and mod of F dash Z whole square DX DY, right? Okay, now if we talk about the circle, let, this is just a simple note, let the circle with radius R and center as origin is mod Z is equal to R. If I square on both the sides, I get then mod of z square is equal to r square. And I know that mod of z square is equal to, yes, z into its conjugate. This is equal to r square. If I replace this point z with its inverse, let's say the inverse is z dash and let z bar remain unchanged. So let the conjugate remain unchanged. So this is equal to r square. And from here, I can get the inverse point of z, that is, taking z conjugate to the other side. Thus, the inverse of the point z with respect to circle mod z equal to r is r square over z conjugate. And for unit circle, the radius is 1. So, this becomes 1 over z bar. And now, here are some notes. The critical point. The critical point of the transformation is a point at which f dash z is equal to 0 and the coefficient of magnification at z of fz is equal to mod of f dash z. And then the angle of rotation phi, this is equal to the amplitude of f dash z, right? So this is how we can calculate the angle of rotation and coefficient of magnification or the critical point right okay let's do an example for the conformal transformations w equal to z square show that the coefficient of magnification and at z equal to 1 plus iota is 2 root 2 and second you have to show that 
the angle of rotation at z equal to 1 plus iota is pi by 4. So let's solve this. We have given the transformation w as z square. So let me write fz equal to w, so which is given to be as z square. What is f dash z then? It is 2z, right? And what is f dash at 1 plus iota? And what is f dash z at 1 plus iota? This is equal to twice 1 plus iota, right? So this is equal to 2 plus 2 iota. So first, the coefficient of magnification at z equal to 1 plus iota is given by mod of f dash at the given point that is 1 plus iota because z equal to 1 plus iota we have to find at this point. So this is mod of f dash 1 plus iota. So this is equal to what is f dash 1 plus iota? We have already calculated 2 plus 2 iota. So this is mod of 2 plus 2 iota and this is equal to what is the mod of this? That is if this is a this is b so this will be a plus b iota mod that is a square plus b square under the root. So a square is 4 plus b square is 4 and taking the square root. So this is equal to square root of 8 that is equal to 2 root 2. Right? So this is the required coefficient of magnification. Then is the angle of rotation at z equal to 1 plus iota is amplitude of f dash z. That is equal to amplitude of f dash z is given to be 1 plus iota. So this is equal to amplitude of f dash 1 plus iota is 2 plus 2 iota. So this is 2 plus 2 iota and this is equal to yes what is the amplitude of this that is the tan inverse b over a b is 2 and a is 2 so this is equal to tan inverse 1 that is equal to pi by 4 so this is a required answer for the angle of rotation right for the given conformal transformations all right thank you